It's Ashley, Keller Williams Real Estate in Everett, here with your April 2022 monthly market update for North Everett 98201. We're going to dive right into the data. Stay tuned. Okay. So I think, I think mayhem is on the way. I think it is. I don't know. You know, maybe not, you know, it's just been interesting. So let's just, let's just dive in and talk about the numbers. I mean, you know, the only thing I'm going to say about it is, is more, more, more. All right. More, 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 more. All right, here we go. All right. So of course, just to remind you, we um, talk about the previous month, right? Because April is still in progress. But in March, we had 40 new listings hit the market, which was definitely up from February. I mean, that's very typical, right? Usually, um, usually the, like those kind of months that are like coming off of the holidays are a little bit slower, right? Um, but they were down from last year, last March, right? I mean, that's interesting to note, down from last March. All right. I mean, I don't know if that's something on the way, but they're down. The average listing price was, um, you know, almost six hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. I mean, that's it's getting pretty good. It's getting up there. We had forty five pending sales and um, thirty nine sold properties. The average selling price was six hundred forty seven thousand dollars. Um, and this was actually down a little bit from last month. I mean, I think if you remember last month's um, update, you know, we had like a couple of like higher price sales. Uh, maybe that, maybe that's part of it. Um, you know, that's, that's probably the biggest thing actually is, is that we had a couple of higher price sales that happened. It didn't happen this month. The other piece of it is, is, you know, there's also like lower price inventory coming onto the market. And so, you know, that kind of drags down, you know, like the, the average is just a little bit more susceptible to like, you know, these like sort of like higher, like lower and higher numbers. All right. And then we have a month supply point Four. So remember, I told you about this last month, you know, we have more inventory available, but this month, month supply of inventory is just kind of telling us about the velocity, like how quickly are we turning through that? And that's the biggest thing that we're noticing is, is that the month supply is, you know, we're still turning it over quickly, right? Like it comes on and it's gone, comes in and it's gone. Um, 17 days on market. Woo, man. 17 days on market. I think, I, I mean, I think that that, my, in my opinion, that number is a little bit inflated. Most properties up here that are nice looking um, sell very quickly. Uh, you know, that's usually like within a week. So someone puts it on on a Thursday and it's gone by like a Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, the other thing that I've been noticing is that things have been coming back on market. So it could just be a matter of, oh, it, it went off the market, came back on, and then boom, here we are with longer days on market. Um, you know, what are, what are we working with? You know, as far as competition, you know, I always like to look at the statistic, um, the amount of money over list price received, um, this month, um, or in, in March, it was a uh, 7.5% over the list price was received. And in the previous month, it was 4.7%. Now this is really typical, you know, as we get into this, like sort of spring summer buying season it is very typical that we see you know just more buyers in the market and more competition you know more buyers more competition so that's the data i mean you know how's this all going to play out I, I think if you've been watching the market you know that interest rates have hit five percent i was looking at last month's last month when we did this video we were in like the low fours and so we've gone up you know, probably like a whole point. Ooh, I mean, geez, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the market is going to respond to that. There is still a lot of cash in the market and there are still a lot of buyers that are looking for a place. Um, more than likely, what you're going to see happen is, is that the buyers that were shopping in lower price points, you know, they're just unable to buy now. They're like completely knocked out of the market. They're completely knocked out of the market because that change in interest rate increases the payment you know, hundreds of dollars for most people. And, you know, basically that alone, especially if they're shopping already at their max and like, let's say their max is like 500,000. I mean, and they're probably just not going to buy a house right now. Um, and, you know, honestly, it might be ever, right? Because here's the thing, the, uh, 
you know, houses are appreciating assets, right? I mean, they're not going to get to be cheaper. Like the, these folks that are at that limit, they're probably going to have to do, I don't know, get different jobs or leave the area is, is probably what is likely to happen. I mean, I think maybe the question that's on your mind is, is how is this going to affect sellers, right? Like sellers have basically had their, you know, free reign to, you know, make the cake and eat it too. You know, they could dictate like pretty much all the terms, like we don't want any contingencies. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do that. You know, it's, it will be interesting to see how this kind of plays out and to see whether or not this change in interest rate gives buyers any leverage. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of see what it is going forward. If you are thinking about buying or selling a house, um, please reach out to me. My contact information is down below. If you have any questions about real estate or, um, you know, if there's anything I can help you out with, please reach out and I will see you again on the next one.